guys, I'm Marie Ray, and welcome back to more Don't Start Together, The Gorge. So this is the very first win that I had since the event went live, and of course, I had to be carried to my very first win because this event is sort of one of those things where the more you know, the easier it becomes. I didn't actually get to play the beta as much as I would have liked to because of, you know, real life reasons, but it doesn't really matter because I once it went live, and now that it's the weekend, I actually have a ton of time to play it, so I'm just gonna keep playing and try to get better and better. And this particular match, I was probably the most inexperienced person here, so I took on the role of the Gatherer, which I thought was uh, the best role, I suppose, for somebody who was new, because I just mainly, in the beginning, focused on gathering wood and poop buckets, and I went and grabbed those few potatoes that were over there near the beginning. But once I got all that stuff and coming back, I just kept trying to keep the supply of wood and poop on the ready. And then towards the end of the match, once everything was kind of unlocked and was kind of moving, I was just trying to help any way I could without being in the way because it was blatantly obvious to me that I was the one here who knew the absolute least about what was happening and what the recipes entailed. So I was waiting on the chef to give me some direction on what he needed to be done. So if he said he needed a berry or he said he needed mushrooms, I would run out to go and grab that stuff and bring it back to him so that he wouldn't have to leave his station there. But I really appreciate the two players here who pretty much carried me through to my first win because I was obviously still lost throughout the match. I was trying to stay back and stay useful without being in the way. So I'm pretty sure there's tons of room for improvement on even this particular role here. But if you're interested in seeing what an amateur looks like when they finally beat this for the first time, then please enjoy this video. But if you're looking for a guide on the best way to do things, this is not the video for you because trust me, I will never be able to tell you the best way to play this game but I do play it and I do have a lot of fun so if you're interested in seeing a, a winning match please enjoy So this was around the time in the match where I mentioned earlier that I kind of felt like I could have picked up something else different to do. I felt like we had an abundance of wood and we had a few poop buckets for the time being. So I didn't really want to keep gathering all that stuff if there was something else useful that I could have done. And looking at the video, of course, there's like a thousand things I see that I could have done, but at me at the time, still not wanting to step on anyone's toes and not wanting to ruin our chances of winning, didn't want to do stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. But I, I could have uh, gone ahead and grown up the wheat and run the wheat because I think wheat its only use is flour. I'm pretty sure that's its only absolute use and it does not spoil. So I could have gone and done that from the very start as soon as I kind of needed something to do. Didn't think about that at the time though, but you know, learning, still learning. And I was asking a ton of questions and the people I were playing with was more than happy to answer the questions for me, which I highly appreciate. Uh, I really love running into people in the community who are willing to help players who are willing to learn. So uh, I really appreciate that. And at this point in time, I kind of just started fertilizing plants and uh, running some salt if it was ready, just trying to be useful and trying to stay useful to the chef in the long run. So I would go grab whatever it is that he requested for me to get. So whether that had been mushrooms or like berries or whatever it is, I would try to go grab it. I believe the farmer was doing something similar at the time. I was also kind of watching them because I wanted to learn how to do all the different roles. So this is the best that I thought I could do. Still room for improvement, like I said. So don't judge, all right? Don't judge. I know, I know, I know. I could have done a thousand things better, but please feel free to point those out to me in the comments, like I said earlier, because I love to get tips on how to improve upon my standing in this challenge.
this point in the match where we got our very first favor and we, I think we got our next favor right after that one. I'm pretty sure we did with a dessert and both of those are recipes that I did not know. So here's playing with the community for the win because these folks here expanded my recipe book with some new recipes that can get me a favor if I can manage to get them cooked within a round when I'm playing with my own friends on my own. So as we kept playing, I've been learning as I play. Like I said, it's been super fun to go and play with a bunch of people in the community. I was watching the timer and I'm like, oh man, we're not gonna win. I was like so nervous because I was watching the timer and I'm, I don't exactly know if the timer goes back up at any point in time or if it just drops, but I'm like, oh no, we haven't gotten like a favor and we're like almost more than halfway done. I, I was freaking out just a bit, but uh, it, it turned out good in the long run and getting two favors back to back just, just showed me right there that, oh no, you don't have to panic it's ways to win you know it just I'm pretty sure we could have been more efficient and probably should have had far more time than we did right now but I blame a lot of that on just me and my inexperience but we we ended up winning in the long run so still turned out good is where we were about to get our final favor. I was kind of hanging around the camp because I wanted to actually see what we do with the favors because I didn't actually know what to do with them once we got them. So it looks like you're supposed to gather them all and trade them with the goat mother and that she gives you a key that you put in the pedestal over there and that that will end up unlocking the gate to get us out. So I didn't actually know what to do and I thought I'd watch him because when I saw he cooked that dessert I knew last time it gave us a favor and I'm pretty sure that all of the dishes will give you the same things every time you make them as long as you make them the same way like if you silver plate it and it gives you a favor then you have to silver plate it every time and if you do it every time he craves it and silver plate it he'll give you the favor again so I expected us to get our final favor here and I wanted to watch what happened and this was the end all be all we finally did it we finally won the entire match I got to see what happens when we escape and I was super happy that I finally won it took quite a few times like I feel like I won the forge much faster than I won the gorge and it's not necessarily that the gorge is harder than the forge it was just sort of like a, a much more of a learning curve where you kind of had to have to learn a lot more before you kind of get a grasp on what to do with the actual match itself 
But that's the video. Here's my amateur win, the very first one. I hope you guys didn't mind that I fast forwarded through a lot of the boring parts. I wanted to keep the entire match in there for you guys, but I didn't really want to make you watch me chop wood for like 30 minutes. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope you guys will come back and join me for more Don't Starve Together because if I run into anything interesting in the gorge that I happen to record, I'll be more than happy to post it for you guys. But I'm not going to flood the channel full of videos of the gorge. The matches are pretty much the same. But I hope you guys enjoy.